Right, let's start today's session. So this is the first session of Django. Okay. So Django with REST framework. Okay, this session is completely, uh, this batch is completely belongs to Django with REST framework. First, let's, let me explain about Django and let me explain about our session duration and all these things. So 45 days required to complete Django. Okay, 15 to 20 days are required to complete uh, REST API with Django. REST API. Okay. 45 days is required to complete Django and 15 days are required to complete REST API. This batch is completely belongs to Django with REST API. Okay. Before going to continue this uh, sessions, I strongly recommend you people should aware compulsory about Python. If you don't aware of Python, better to quit from this meeting. Okay, because this is only for those who completed or those who know about Python. Okay, Python. So at least Python basics, like Python object-oriented programming rules and regulations, Python functions, how to write Python programming, everything you must and should aware, then only we can able to understand Django and then REST API. If you don't have any idea about Python, I am saying that better to skip these sessions. You cannot, you are not eligible to attend these sessions. This is only for those who already learning Python or those who already completed Python. So I strongly recommend to attend this Django as well as REST API. Sir. Okay, hope you understand. Here, yeah, most of them are our students, my students. I have handled for them core and advanced Python. Okay, so and some of the students, only minimum students are might be new students. You, you are new to me, so. I hope you also completed your Python core and advanced sessions from somewhere or anywhere. And then only you can able to learn the Java and test API. Got it, my friend? So this session duration, batch time duration is, this is only Django 45 days and 15 days REST API. And the first demo purpose, this Django and REST API session will start from 4 p.m. to 5 p.m. Indian time. After after this week, most probably next week, the time slightly will be changed 4.30. Okay, 4.30 p.m. I'll change it. So regularly, I'll continue from 4.30 p.m. to 5.30 p.m. Only demonstration point of view. I just conducting these sessions at 4 to 5 p.m. And after a few days, like four or five sessions after completion, 4.30 p.m., I'll start this session. I'm giving clearly time also. Again, if I change the time, you should not ask why you change the time like that. I'm maintaining some clarity from my side. So same clarity I expect from your side also. So let's begin with uh, Django. Yes, what is Django and why it is required to use? We'll discuss in detail. And moreover, I have complete Django material with each and every step by step and REST API complete material is there. That material I will send to you, your mails. And every day session is going to be recorded, same session recorded video I'll send to your Google Drive. Okay, let me show you the material and uh, then we will start the introduction to Django today. So I have complete material of Django and moreover in Django, I'm going to cover and at the end of the Django sessions, I will include two projects, I will discuss two projects. Whatever I covered Django topics in my session and according to that topics, with help of that topics, I will explain you the projects also. 
we will do project creation in our classroom itself two project i'll explain with this jungle okay so now look at here Django material this is Django complete material is there and also Django session wise material also there session wise material as well as complete material this is complete material means total documentation which i prepared with the proper coding part only now you can see this is completely Django material okay so complete Django around uh, how many pages is there like 300 pages material is there with projects and included everything will be there in this clear step by step points I clearly maintain this is Django complete material at the same time rest API material also will be there you can see DR Django rest framework material session wise material if you want you can this is DRF sessions and uh, this is the rest api session or uh, django session wise material like this session one session two session two. this material only same i included in this complete material i'll send after completion of uh, this uh, demo sessions four or five days one week after i will hand over this material to you for practice and also videos daily session wise videos i will send to your google drive mr kiran can you please mute your audio Kiran Kumar, I request you please mute your audio. Yes. Now let's begin with Django today. So today I'm going to give complete overview of Django. So what is Django and why it is? See, point number one. Django is a web application framework. Django is what is Django? Django is a web application, web application development, development, development framework. Web application development framework. Framework is nothing but what? It's a collection of predefined libraries. Yes, framework is nothing but it's a collection of predefined libraries. When we install Django software, okay, automatically you will get plenty of uh, framework libraries using that libraries only using that predefined classes predefined methods only can start develop web application so django is a web application development <coughs> that means what django django is used to is used to develop develop web applications what applications web, app, web applications web application so what is web application here Web application is nothing but the application which will provide services through web is called web application. Examples of web applications are many like Flipkart, Amazon, online internet banking purpose. We, we will open online SPA, online ICICI, Access Bank, many of them are there. So that are all web application which will provide services, provide services through web only. That is called web application. Django is a web application development framework. Django is used to develop web applications. And Django completely written in Python language only. Yes. How Django framework was written? Django completely, <laughs> completely written in Python programming language. Python programming language, sir. How they develop the Django web application development framework by writing Python script only. It's completely written in Python programming language. So even after start development of web application creation, okay, you will see that main logic purpose, we will write Python script only. That's what a person who is going to be learn Django and that must and should aware Python core and advanced concepts compulsory. At least the person should aware basics of Python with the data structures, with the functions, with the object-oriented principles, rules and regulations, they must and should know that. Then only ERC can able to uh, learn easily Django. So same style of coding you are going to see in application development. Django is completely written in Python programming language. By using Django, we can develop web applications in very less time. 
yes by using dijango by using dijango we can develop we can develop web applications web applications web applications in very less time in very less time less time in the sense it's not more time taking process because it's very simple lot of predefined things are there means ready made resources will be provided how when we install python software you will get plenty of modules and library same in dijango also when we download and install dijango framework and automatically you will get plenty of built in libraries so some ready made resources are available you can you can import that ready made resources in the form of uh, modules and you can able to start development of web applications it will be easy compared to other web technologies dijango is the finest web technology to design and develop web applications using python script it will be easy to handle it so using dijango we can develop web applications in very less time only completely here okay next coming to this dijango is a high level and open source python based framework dijango is a high level high level high level and open source open source open source python based python based web framework i'm saying python based web framework it is completely high level sir means while developing web application script also you need not to concentrate on memory management because as i said that in python itself it's high level and dijango also high level because it will take care memory management by help of garbage collector so garbage collector will provide automatic memory management and that's our that's what we need not to write any explicit code for memory management because it is high level dijango is also high level web application framework and mostly open source python based framework dijango framework code also it's open to everyone there is official website is there dijango framework.com website dijango project.com website from that website we can collect the source code and we can able to easily design and develop web applications clearly it is open to all okay next coming to this so dijango is having clear documentation and it follows the principle called dry dry means do not repeat it yourself so that means dijango it has clear documentation it has clear documentation documentation and it follows and it follows and it follows the principle principle it follows the principle principle of dry dry stands for do not repeat yourself yes do not repeat yourself in the sense what no need to write repeat the code again and again while working with dijango web application development means one time if you write one time if you write you can use many times reusability is there repetition is not there reusability so no need to write repeatedly code again and again so it's having clear documentation and it follows the principle called drf dry means do not repeat yourself okay i'll show the clear documentation also to show the clear documentation official website is there what is the official website means dijango project.com now you can see official website i am writing here www.dijango project dijango project.com website is there if you want to see the clear documentation you can visit this dijango project.com okay and we have official documentation which is available for python is what python.org official documentation for rest api is what yes this is not required at this moment i'll talk about rest api later after 45 days i'll include this website also dijango dijango rest framework.com dijango rest framework rest framework.com website is there so complete python documentation is available in this website dijango documentation is present in dijango project.com website dijango rest framework.com website so this is official websites which will provide the documentation related regarding python and dijango as well as dr dijango rest framework so right now we are discussing about dijango project let's go to here and type www.dijango dijango dijango project project.com website 
will be able to open this is the official documentation of Dijon. Okay, download and documentation is available. And now you can see complete documentation is available. And if you want to know that the latest version of Django, so in the official documentation only, now you can see the latest version is documentation version 4.0, Django version. Now let me find out Django version. Now you can see somewhere we find Django version also. No problem. If, if it is not available here, then I'll surely uh, find out the Django version through my commands, no issues at all here. This is official documentation of Django. Okay, you can able to download this official documentation also. You can see this is documentation download option is there. Django documentation is there. This is documentation. So there is a download option also there. Yes, now you can see Django 4.0 version, HTML, PDF, any version you can able to download. This is the official documentation. Please, I request you meet your audio. Mr. Nagaraj. Please meet your audio. So, this is about official documentation available to djangoproject.com website. You can follow that. So, most of the uh, definitions and uh, what we can say most of the rules and regulations every trainer must and should follow from official documentation only he or she cannot be able to uh, break the rules of doc doc documentation compulsory so by following that you have to be prepared Django web application projects and coming to the point main important point is so Django is completely based on a design pattern which is very important we are going to discuss that complete design pattern in our django sessions that is called mbt okay mbt it is it is based on based on mbt pattern mbt pattern mbt stands for model view view template model view template design pattern it is design pattern design pattern for example, in other languages like Java, okay, .NET programmers will follow MVC pattern, model view controller. But actually in Django controller is going to be, Django server itself, it will act as a controller. There is no controller separately. Django server will act as a controller. Only. But only while developing Django web application, we should focus on MVT architecture, model view controller. Your model represent database tables. View represent business logic, means Python programming, we will write in view section only. Template represent what? Presentation, means how your web page should be appear to the end user, finally in the output window, in the browser window, that is called template. But one more important thing, template means I'm just getting an idea. So temp sir, Django is web application development framework, no? for every web application programmer, compulsory, they must and should have idea about what uh, UI technologies. What are the UI technologies are there? You know that. So HTML, okay, plus CSS, CSS, plus JavaScript, plus jQuery, jQuery, plus Bootstrap. These must and should aware, okay, generally. But what I will do in the sense, first four or five sessions, I will focus on Django completely, okay. I will explain introduction to Django and I'll introduce what is MBT pattern and I will try to uh, show you step by step installation process of Django. First four, five days, four, five sessions, I will con uh, continuously work with Django only. Once we, you understand the making setup of Django, all models, view template, okay, overview and complete architecture, then first one week or uh, next one week sessions, I will conduct of this only. HTML, two days, CSS, two days, JavaScript, one or two days, jQuery bootstrap, one day, one day. So after four or five days this week, after next week, what I will start, complete UI technologies things I will start. UI technologies means compulsory, every web developer must and should aware at least the basics or minimum knowledge is required from here. UI technologies, HTML, CSS, JavaScript, jQuery bootstrap. 
So in my documentation, I have included HTML program, CSS, JS, JavaScript, jQuery, Bootstrap also. But make sure that don't expect uh, from me complete uh, jQuery, complete JavaScript, complete Bootstrap. But maximum HTML, maximum CSS I covered already in my documentation. I will tell you completely. You will, you will be perfect in HTML and CSS. But JavaScript, jQuery, Bootstrap completely I will not cover because it's not possible also. It's not required for learning Django completely also. You need not to worry. Okay. So you are not going to involve much more things in the jQuery bootstrap aspect. How much it is needed? What are the main things are required for Django web application development? For sure, I will cover that kind of aspect. But make sure that in one week session, I will make you clear about this UI technology point of view. What is what is what? And what type of coding is there? How to use that? How to create CSS files? What type of CSS files are there? How to write JavaScript function, how to call them, where we can use JavaScript function in our web application development, in which part, which area we have to include. You will get clear picture from one week session of UI technology, no doubt at all. After that, you will come to know that where it will be useful in our Django development. For sure, at the end of the Django sessions, whenever I start develop projects, I told you that two projects I will explain you clearly. <coughs> in that project, I will include Bootstrap mainly. Bootstrap will make the project look and feel will be rich. So instead of creating separate buttons and labels and much more design, the simply Bootstrap technique we have to apply and we will make our application rich look will be easy using Bootstrap. And JavaScript is for what purpose? Making functionality of uh, Django web applications, even jQuery also. jQuery is nothing but JavaScript library, advanced JavaScript libraries. CSS means we can make uh, some effects onto our web application so any colors combination and how your uh, image should be appear okay how your documentation should be appear that css styling we can use cascading styles html in the sense it is very very important in every web technology html content is required because html content only we are going to display at the end of the execution point of view we are going to display in the web page html content only so template means these things will be involved Template means mainly this is only which is appear to the end user finally. But what we are going to do, uh, no matter for the end users or customer, but in behind the scenes, we are involving mainly models and views only. Model means database program. View means Python program. View is business logic. Without view, we cannot able to do anything in Dijon. Template means after collecting the data from model and I want to display that the database records into template in the presentation layer which is required python code is required view so model represent database table view represent the python logic template represent what presentation layer means <coughs> html css javascript through how we can able to display result to the end user we will decide by using template so it's completely based on mdt design pattern only you are going to learn in Django completely model view template pattern, design pattern, model view template pattern. In that way, I'm going to explain you clearly all these things clearly. Are you getting my point, sir? Yes. So this is basic introduction, MVT template only. You will come to know that in upcoming sessions, what is MVT? I will give you clear diagrammatic representation. What generally using model view and template through, we'll discuss in detail. And before that, some small history I need to discuss history of Django. Okay, what is history? A simple history is there. What is that history? So Django was designed and developed by Django was designed, 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 and developed by developed by developed by Lawrence John Dahl. Okay. Lawrence journal Lawrence journal world in the year of in the year of 2003 sir and publicly <clears throat> and publicly publicly released released publicly released released under under bsd bsd is nothing but it's a license that license name is called berkeley Berkeley source distribution, Berkeley source distribution. 
source distribution. This is one time information. This is not required for at all, just knowing that. Okay, in July 2005, that's all. 2005, sir. Django was designed and developed by Lawrence General World in 2003 and publicly released under BSD license, like BSD means Berkeley Source Distribution License in the year of 2005, July. The original authors, <clears throat> the original authors, the original authors of Django, the original authors of Django are what who are that original authors means these are the original authors. Adrian Halovati and Simon Willison. Simon Willison. These are the authors of Django. Simon Willison. Okay, these are the authors. The original authors of Django are Adrian Holovati and Simon Willison. You can go through official website. This information will be there clearly. And Django was released. Django was released, released, released on 21st, 21st, July, July 2005, 2005. And its current stable version current stable version version is 4.0 because we have seen just now uh, what we can say uh, in official documentation 4.0 was available let's see this i am not sure about this i will give you clarity in mostly next session but in my previous whenever whenever i start a, a batch of a previous batch long back like 3 months back 2 months back that time we heard like the, the current stable version is 3.2.4, I think so. But how to check it? No issues at all. After installation, you will come to know the clear version of Django. Okay. Now coming to this Django, Django is also pronounced. Renowned, pronounced. Django is also pronounced Django. Okay, Django. So here T is a silent, pronounced as Django song, J N G O, like this. So some people, some programmers will call it as Django, or some programmer will call it as T Django. As you are wish, you can call it as no problem. It's not a big deal. Django also pronounced as Django. D is a select. The official website for Django already discussed, like Django Project.com website. So what is Django here? Why they have given name like this? Django is Django is a name of name of name of george guitarist george guitarist famous george guitarist called what name you know t jango t jango r e i n h a r d t t d jango reinhardt so you can go to google and type this name you will get a famous guitarist name like this t jango reinhardt is the man who is famous guitarist now you can see Django Reinhardt okay so Belgian George guitarist name is there clear that's what the authors was taken the name and uh, in the remembrance of this person name and they have given that uh, title called Django so John Reinhardt now his name Romani nickname Django was Belgian like this some information is there Wikipedia you can read out here so just I'm giving some information to you why Django call it as okay. This is the person name actually, and uh, you know why Python came into the picture. That name was derived from a TV show called Circus Show Django Monty Python Circus. So similarly here, Django, the name was collected. The person name called Django Reinhardt. So they have given for their web application development name as Django. So this is the small story here. And most importantly, I need to discuss about features of Django. What are the important features of Django is available? Yes. So first I'll write, list out the features. I'll explain one by one quickly. So Django, using Django, we can able to develop rapid application development is possible. Rapid application means very fast rate development is possible. Rapid application development. Rapid development is possible. Rapid development. And it is more secured also application implementation wise more secure and scalable also scalable and fully loaded yes fully loaded all fully loaded features are available using that built-in step 
we can easily implement the Dijango web application clearly. So versatile applications are possible. Versatile means different, different applications are possible using Django. And it's completely open source to everyone. The source code is open to all. So can able to develop easily and vast and supported community also there. Yes, worldwide Django, large communities there, development community. So we can able to communicate with them and we can able to discuss, we can able to share the code and source code, exchange the code is possible. So easily development is possible here. These are the main features of the Django. So coming to the rapid development, what is meaning of rapid development, sir? Django was designed with the uh, intention to make uh, a framework which takes less time to build web applications, less time. The intention was uh, uh, designed Django web application development framework is to make a framework which takes less time to build a web application. That's what compared to other framework which is available in different different technologies. And Django is the best even when I started for long back. Okay, when I start teaching of Django, I feel very comfort in Django because I have, I have conducted many sessions with many uh, web framework like ASP.NET with CSHOP.NET and JSP Servlet. But I feel that very comfortable in this case because maximum ready-made resources are available. You will also feel same thing when I start development of web application with Django. And coming to the security, Django takes security seriously and helps to develop or to avoid many common mistakes, security mistakes, such as like SQL injections and cross-site scripting, cross-site request forgery, CSRF tokens will be predefined available. CSRF token we have to include whenever you post to the request to the server with security of your request because CSRF is nothing but very important. It is. You will come to know in upcoming sessions whenever I start practically. CSRF, cross-site request forgery. Means whenever we send request to the server, there is a possibility to forgery your request and your request will be diverted. Okay. So that is not possible in Django, especially because they have implemented with a, a secured concept called CSRF mechanism, cross site request forgery mechanism. Whenever we include CSRF token in web application development, that's not at all possible. No one can, no one can forgery your Django web request because CSRF is implemented clearly in this case. Okay. Now coming to the Django applications are scalable. So scalable in nature, that means Django applications has ability to quickly and flexible switch from small to large scale of projects. We can able to switch from one small project to large scale project easily by using Django web application because enhancement features are more. And coming to the fully loaded, Django includes various helping modules are there and libraries are there which can be used to handle common web development task. So Django takes care of user authentication system and content administration and site maps. And also you know, just now we discussed CSRF management. Everything will be fully loaded, which is already available and ready to use it. So no need to explicitly or from scratch, you need not to implement anything. Uh, different different modules which is available uh, which will help to develop web application that is fully loaded modules are there libraries are there and coming to the versatile versatile meaning is what it different so Django is versatile in nature which allows to build web applications for different different domains so nowadays in most of the companies are using Django to build various type of applications like content management system social network groups and uh, scientific computing platforms and mostly uh, like, uh, uh, you know, uh, Spotify, you know that Spotify means a, it's a popular, okay, uh, multiple songs platform is there. That Spotify is designed by using Python Django only. Yes, many of the websites, I'll tell you some simple sample website like uh, uh, Dropbox is there, Quora, Quora in the sense questions and the answers forum. You have to post the question in uh, Google, some Quora people will give you answer. And Instagram and Washington Times, and Mozilla Firefox. Mozilla Firefox previously was designed and implemented with PHP, and they have uh, for modification and updation purpose, they are uh, entertained Django framework. Now Mozilla is completely designed and developed using framework. Initially it was PHP. And also Pinterest and National Geographic, these people are using rapidly Django web application code into their websites and into their application scenarios. 
So versatile means different, different applications we can build. And coming to the open source. Open source, it is an open source. Django is completely open source web application framework. It is available publicly without any cost. So just now I told you this website, official website, you can visit Django project and you can download the Django software and documentation and code also you can download and use it in your application implementation. For this, no need to pay anything, no need to pay anyone. So it can be downloaded with source code from the public repository. Open source reduces the total cost of the application development completely here. And coming to the vast and wide support communities there, Django is one of the most popular web framework. It has widely supportive community and channels to share the content and extend the content like this one. So these are the important features. And this is some small history. And this is the official project of Django, official website of Django and basics of Django. What is Django? Why Django? Completely. But for sure that one thing is for sure. This is just for awareness only, this introduction session. And no one will ask the questions, interviews like this. What is Django? What type of framework? Nothing is there just for knowing that history also no one will ask. But only that they'll concentrate in interviews and all MBT pattern. This is very, very, very important. It's a backbone for us. Development of Django application. So in next session, we'll, we'll concentrate on this model view templates completely. Okay. And once again, I'm telling you clearly, yeah, most of them, you are my students only. Those who are attending, attended a uh, few days back, 4 p.m. Python package course and 5 p.m. Python package course, all students are there here. And some of them morning students also there. But those who are not my students, you know, not to worry. I hope you also uh, learn Python some way and you have aware of Python. I hope so. If you have aware of Python, undoubtedly you can able to continue these sessions without fail. No issues at all. So, but without Python, sir, I don't have any idea about Python. This is my first session. I'm learning directly Django means don't do that. Please uh, stop immediately. First learn Python and go with the Django. That is what I'm, I can say that. And moreover, you can see, as I said that, first four days or first three or four days, I'll concentrate completely the Django. In tomorrow, I'll explain completely what is web application, what is exactly web page and website, web browser, web server, complete the basic idea I'm giving, and also, and what is front-end application and back-end application, and step to download and install Python and Django I'll cover in tomorrow. Once after making complete Python with the Django setup, I will discuss clearly with MVT architecture. After making an idea of MVT architecture, once you understand how to make setup of Django application development purpose, how to run server, uh, after that, we will focus complete next week, completely focus on HTML, CSS, JavaScript, Bootstrap. One week session, I'll give you complete full-fledged training on this HTML, CSS, JavaScript, so that you will get a maximum clarity on this UI technologies where to use in our web application development. Okay, after that, we will focus on completely Django throughout 45 days session. Once I complete 40 to 45 days session Django, then immediately on same time, a REST API, I will start. REST API will take 15 to 20 days. That is also very, very important. Uh, without REST API, we can't imagine Django in real-time applications. You know, That is powerful. API creation, I will teach you in that. But complete material, completely there, Django and uh, REST API with all Previous videos also there, but previous videos I will not save. Your live session videos only. Whatever I'm going to cover daily, so the session recording, I'll upload to your Google Drive. So this is complete basic introduction which I'm giving. And tomorrow we'll see on same link at same time only 4 p.m. But for after four or five days, timing will be at 4:30 for sure. That I'm on I'm telling first only. Okay, timing your session timing is 4:30 p.m. to 5:30 p.m. But first four, five days, four to five p.m. I strongly recommend to you join at four p.m. to five after four to ten announce. So that's all for today. So just basic overview I'm giving. And you are most of my students only there. You just wait for material and videos for a few more days, two or three days at least. You have to wait for Django complete material. I'll hand over it to you. So once I'll hand over it to you, and you can able to start practice of Django clearly. Okay, fine. So any questions from your side, please feel free to ask in the chat box or else you can speak with me also, no issues.
here most of them are my students only except uh, mr salman yes salman only there ravi teja ravi i think you are also a math student we'll check it later no problem okay yes so we'll see tomorrow continuation session don't miss beginning sessions if you miss beginning session again you cannot able to manage the things in django so overview if you understand how to start with django then it will be easy to manage the things okay and especially django first initial sessions are very important how to making setup and how the flow is going from model to view view to template all this logic you must and should aware if you miss basic sessions it is very big trouble to you to understand pattern so python is completely straight forward it was easy because we open editor we have write we written some code and we execute that we got the logic that is only logical thinking is required in python but in django logical thinking along with that and the flow need to be understand okay we have to involved in multiple multiple places sometimes we'll go to model there we have to change i can come back to view there you have to change i can go back to template there you have to change along with the three model three layers and some more layers will be included forms okay forms and uh, uh, extra files will be included so if you run if you develop one application in django minimum five to six places you have to involve in the coding part and you have to do changes and make them all five to six places integrated together that is very important so compulsory in django starting sessions you will be get more confused i know that okay but don't worry about that once you understand the concept it will be very easy nothing is there trust me okay i'll make you simplify but don't miss the starting sessions especially integration levels like model view template how to prepare all three layers can communicate how and make the request to the web server and how response will come from web server this is very important aspect don't miss that See you tomorrow at same time. Have a nice day.